Hi friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the fragrance Minuit et Demi by Fragrance Du Bois due to their relaunch of the fragrance. So as you guys know, this is a fragrance that is in collaboration with Demi Rawling. And I do believe that there were two launches of this fragrance, two releases. The first one sold out very quickly. The second one came and went. And now Fragrance Du Bois has just announced the third, I believe the third, launch of Minuit et Demi. So I have a bottle here. I actually got it for my birthday. So I wanted to do a video kind of showing you the bottle, the packaging, the smell, tell you guys my opinions on it and if it is worth going out and buying because it is a limited edition fragrance. So, so starting off with the package, it actually has a nice box in like this sleeve that I have somewhere. I definitely did not throw it out, but it's just buried in my closet with all my other boxes and I couldn't really find it easily. But I do have this outer box. It's this really nice, very, very luxe black velvet box. And then on the front, it says Fragrance Du Bois, obviously the logo. And then you open it and it is just this amazing, beautiful red kind of silky material. I really love displaying the bottle in the box. I think it's just so rich and so luxe and it makes the fragrance look like a million bucks. I am so passionate about this fragrance. This is absolutely one of my favorites in my whole entire collection. This fragrance is Demi's idea of the absolute perfect gourmand. In a perfect world, this is the perfect gourmand and I could not agree more. This is such a sensual and warm, spicy fragrance. It is a delicious gourmand with so much depth and dimension, which is something that I really appreciate. Gourmand fragrances are absolutely my number one most favorite type of fragrance to wear, but it has to have some sort of dimension to it. I don't really love the gourmands that are just straight up like chocolate or caramel or coffee, like a dessert. I like things that had added dimension to them that makes it really wearable in a perfume way. Like I don't just wanna smell like a cake, I wanna have interest and depth to it. And this one is perfect for that. This one definitely has all those amazing gourmand notes that you love but it has this added oomph to it. So to give you guys a little more of an idea about this scent, this opens with this amazing cardamom. You get some spice from pimento and it has this really nice bergamot note, but there's a sweetness to it as well that comes from just a little bit of caramel and vanilla. There's some coffee in this as well, but it's not like a sharp, black coffee kind of smell. It's kind of like this caramelly latte, very smooth and creamy. And this also has a little bit of tobacco as well. There's all these different spicy notes coming from different directions and it's just fantastic. Mixing it with like the coffee and the caramel, it is amazing. And the cardamom, oh, I love, love cardamom and fragrances. And this one also has, like I said, this tobacco that adds this very sexy interest to it. It's musky and it has the slightest booziness to it as well. And in the base, there's just this amazing smooth cashmere and very luxurious with a little bit of vetiver. Very, very subtle earthiness, but just the star of the show, the cardamom, the pimento leaves, the caramel and the vanilla and that little touch of coffee. It's just, I can't get over it. We can talk a little bit about the occasion that you would like to wear this. I think that this is the ultimate date night fragrance. I think that is where this fragrance will shine the most is on a date at night. I think that you could pull it off anytime. Like if you wanted it to be a signature scent, I think you definitely could, but there's just something about this that is so alluring and sexy that it will just blow your day's mind. And also because it is slightly on the softer side, it's not, you're not gonna have like a 20 foot scent bubble around you. It's not going to be one of those fragrances that walks into the room before you do, but I've said this a million times, that's how I prefer my fragrances when I'm on a date because you don't want to suffocate your date, if you know what I mean, with your fragrance. You want them to want to come closer to you. And in terms of the performance on this, it is good. I have gotten lots of compliments with this. The last one that I got, I was getting my hair done and the uh, the hairdresser was like, oh my gosh, like you smell amazing. What is that? I'm like, oh, it's Minuit et Demi. <laughs> because she was in close proximity to me. Cause like I said, it's not a huge scent bubble, but it does have good longevity. I get like six, seven hours with this. This was designed to be like the perfect date night fragrance. It smells very expensive, but the smell is just, I can't get over it. You can smell it, it's definitely there, but people are not going to smell you across the room. That's just how it is. So the price on this is 250 euros, even though I paid <laughs> 
a lot more <laughs> because I bought through um, a local perfume shop. I wanted to, you know, show my love, support the local business. And I guess the final question is, do I recommend this fragrance? 100% I recommend this. I think that if you are a gourmand lover, you need to have this in your collection. This is just such a perfectly done gourmand in almost every way. Just the balance between everything is so beautifully blended. Everything just works so well together. It just makes you feel sexy when you wear it. It's just so enticing and sexy and sensual and mysterious. I feel like that girl when I'm wearing this and it's a date night. I feel very like grown up wearing this compared, but not in a mature way. Not like uh, this is for an older, you know, woman, but I think you could pull it off basically at any age if you wanted to. But what I mean by that is that I just feel very put together. I feel like that I am very feminine, sitting in my feminine energy and just mature, if that makes sense. Like grown up, this fragrance is my dream gourmand and you guys do not want to miss this next relaunch of Minuit et Demi by Fragrance Du Bois. You have to get your hands on it and you will thank me later. So please, if you are familiar with this fragrance, leave a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts and I'm sure everyone else in the comments would like to know and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.